if you're new here, my name's Nicole, and today I'll be showing you different ways you can customize your MacBook, spice it up, make it more aesthetically pleasing, really just tailor it to your style. Probably the most asked question I get on my YouTube channel is how I edit my videos, how I make my thumbnails. I get a lot of compliments on my like aesthetic and vibe. I guess on my YouTube channel and like how I make my banner and stuff like that. So I just thought it'd be fun to show you guys how you can really personalize and customize your MacBook to the way you want it. Before we start, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and really help and support me a lot. And without further ado, let's just get started. Okay, so the different ways I'll be showing you guys how to customize your MacBook is how to make a collage wallpaper, how to make a shifting tile screensaver, how to make an analog screensaver, how to customize your folders, how to customize your sticky notes, how to change your accent colors, how to change the settings on your dock, and how to customize your Google Chrome. Okay, so the first way I'm gonna show you guys how to customize your MacBook is by making a collage for your screensaver like this. It's super easy to make and you can really just customize it by choosing the features you like to fit your aesthetic or whatever vibe you want. I just really like pink's my favorite color, so I just wanted to go for like a pink collage. Um, so yeah, so first what you're gonna wanna do is you have to find out the dimensions of your screen. So I have a 13 inch MacBook Pro. If you wanna figure out like which one you have or what your pixel size is, you can just go to click on the Apple sign and then go to about this Mac. And then you go under the displays and it will tell you which one you have and then it will also give you the pixel sizes. If you're not sure, you can always just Google it. Okay, so the next thing you want to do is you want to go to the website canva.com. It's a super easy to use free website. You want to go to create a design and then enter in your custom dimensions for your screen size. So mine's already entered in, mine is 2560 by 1600 pixels and then you want to, want to click on create design and then just like a blank white space is gonna open up and this is where you're gonna put your pictures. So next what you wanna do is you wanna find pictures to make your collage. You can use your own pictures. I like to use Pinterest because I just really like Pinterest. There's so many different pictures you can choose from and you can really just choose like wherever you wanna get your pictures from. It's up to you, I use Pinterest. So after you wanna to go to Pinterest and then you wanna type in something like aesthetic pictures here really just search whatever you want to find the pictures you like sometimes they put in like aesthetic pink pictures because my wallpaper is like more pink themed so then afterwards all you have to do is just find pictures you like so i like this picture so i'm just gonna go to copy image and then just go back to this so back to canva and then you want to paste it in and then you can just crop it or make it smaller actually or crop it whatever you want and then just put it wherever you want on the screen in other words you can just find another picture you like so i like this picture so i'm going to copy it and then just put it in make it smaller and then you can also like overlap the pictures you can bring pictures to front and do it like that mine also has like some quotes on it so you can go to aesthetic um, quotes and find a quote you like so I like this one whatever just copy it and then paste it in make it smaller and then yeah you just keep adding pictures till you're done okay so I just opened my current wallpaper up on canva so this is just what it looks like i just like put different pictures i overlap them a bit um yeah i just use like a lot of different pink pictures i added in some little quotes and yeah so it's super simple super easy to make if you want the exact one i made you guys can dm me on instagram and i can send it to you guys Okay, so the next thing I'm going to show you guys how you can customize your MacBook is by changing up the screensaver. So uh, the current screensaver I have on right now is just this. It's like a sliding tiles screensaver. Um, basically for this one, I just saved different images from Pinterest, made, put them in a folder, and then chose this 
slideshow template. So what you're gonna wanna do is you wanna open up system preferences and then you're gonna wanna go to desktop and screensaver and then under screensaver, you're gonna wanna go click on shifting tiles and then for your source, you're gonna wanna choose your folder with all of the pictures you're gonna wanna use for your screensaver. So my folder is just called screensaver. And yeah, it's really super simple. And then I'll show you guys a preview of what it looks like. It's just a bunch of pictures, kind of like similar pictures to the ones in my collage. Okay, so the next screen saver customization I'm gonna show you guys is how to get like this analog clock screen saver. This is a screen saver I always use. Um, yeah, I just like the way it looks and just when like my laptop is turned off I can just like see the time and it's really big. Okay, to get this analog screen saver We're gonna go to the website flicklow.com and then you just want to click on it and Then you want to scroll down until you find this where it says download Then you just want to click download so after it downloads you're gonna want to open it then after you open it You're gonna want to just double tap on this and then install it okay so after it's finished installing you just want to click it and then that's your new screensaver and there you have it okay so next way you can customize your macbook is called hot corners so what you want to do is you want to go back into system preferences and go under screensaver and then you want to click on hot corners and then basically it activates each corner of the screen to do a certain task so right now my bottom right corner is to is set to start screensaver you can change it to different things like lock screen put display to sleep and so on and this makes it super easy and fast for you to use your macbook okay so the next way i have for you guys to customize your macbook is sticky notes so i'm pretty sure everyone knows what the sticky notes are but they're super useful for like school, to-do list, stuff like that. I already have these screen these sticky notes on my screen because these are ones I'm always referring to when I'm editing YouTube videos and stuff like that. So what you wanna do is you wanna make a new note and then you can change the color to whatever color you want. So we'll make this one pink for now. And then you can change the font. So the fonts that I like to use are American Typewriter and I change it to light and then I'll type something. And then you can also increase the size of the font to whatever you want. And yeah. Another font I like to use is Helvetica New. So it just looks like this and I like to change it to bold italic. And yes, yeah, so you can really just change it to whatever font you want. You can also change the color of the text. Um, let's say you want it to be like pink, you can just do it like that. And, and there you have it. Super simple, super easy. Okay, so the next customization I have for you guys is how to change your accent color. Most people probably know what this is, but what you want to do is you want to go back to system preferences, go to general, and then you can change the accent color. So right now mine's set to pink. So when I hover or click on to one of these tabs, it will be pink. Um, if I were to change it to like blue or something, this is what it looks like. And yeah, but I just have it set at pink because pink matches my laptop the best. So yeah. And I also just keep my laptop on light mode instead of dark because I feel like light just looks better with it, like dark. I guess it's fine. I don't know. I just prefer it like light and stuff. Okay, so another super simple and easy customization to do is on your dock. So right now my dock is hidden because I just like the way it looks, like my screen looks without it unless I need to use it. So then afterwards I can just go back and it appears and I have all my like most recent tabs and stuff. And you can also change the size of your dock by just like going over onto this line and increasing it and making it smaller. So to make it hidden, all you have to do is click onto it and then put, right now it says turn hiding off, but you would want to turn hiding on. Um, you can also change its position on the screen. So right now mine's at the bottom, but you can put it to the left and you can put it to the right, but I just like to keep it at the bottom. 
Okay, so the next customization I have for you guys is how to customize your folders and change the icons. So when you open a new folder, it just appears as like this blue icon. Um, but if you want to change it, it's super simple. So what you want to do is you want to go to Google Images. And then in Google Images, you want to search something like star icon PNG. And you want to make sure it's a PNG because you want the transparent background. And then after you find an icon you want, you can just click on it and then go to save image as, and then I just um, saved my picture onto desktop, so it's super simple and easy to find. Okay, so my star saved to my desktop. To set it as your icon, you wanna click on untitled folder, then you wanna go to get info, and then you're gonna click on your image, and you wanna press command A on your keyboard to select the whole image, and then press command C to copy it and then you're going to click on this folder icon in the corner and press command V and then it just sets your folder as this. So there you have it, super simple, super easy. You can select, you can find different images to set your folder to. Okay, so I just want to show you guys what it looks like when it's on multiple folders. So it's really cute and yeah. Okay, so now I'm going to show you guys how you can change the actual icon color. So to do this, what you want to do is you want to click on the folder, go back to get info, and then you're going to want to copy this icon. Then what you want to do is you want to go to preview. So in preview, you're going to want to click file, new from clipboard, and then it's going to pop, this is going to pop up just like the blue icon. Then you're going to want to click on to mark up then you're going to go to adjust color and then from here you can just change the levels of like exposure and contrast to get the color you want okay so i just adjusted the color and the different levels to make it this pinkish color so then from here you can just press command a again and then command c to copy and then you're going to go back to get info and then click on command V. And then there you have it now. It's like a super cute pink color. You can change the color to whatever fits your aesthetic and your screensaver and stuff. I think this pink looks really good with the rest of the pink. And I also really like these stars. So it's just another simple, easy way you guys can customize it. Okay, so then the last method I have for you guys today is how to change up your Google Chrome so uh, right now I just have like the super basic like minimalistic Google Chrome design this is what I personally like best if you want to change it up one way you can do it is you can add on the extension momentum so you can just search momentum on Google and then it will take you to the Google Chrome store and then you can just click on add to Chrome and then you can add the extension. And then you just have to wait for it to download. Okay, so then after it downloads, it's gonna open up and it's gonna ask for your name, your email, and a password to set it all up for you guys. And then it will, this will open and ask you what your main focus is for today. So I'll just say film video. And then once I finish, I can just take it off and then there you have it. I know a lot of people like to use this one for like productivity and stuff because of the to-do list. Um, it has different backgrounds. Um, it also comes with a little quote at the bottom. It has the weather and stuff. Okay, so another way you can customize your Google is by searching Google Chrome themes. And then after you search Google Chrome themes, you just want to click on to this site. And then it has just a whole bunch of different like themes and stuff to change up your Google Chrome. But anyways, that's basically it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you did, please give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Also, make sure you turn on all my post notifications because I post every Wednesday and Sunday and you don't want to miss a new video. And if you made it all the way to the end of the video, comment down below the computer emoji. So that's basically it for today, guys. I really hope you guys learned something new and I'll see you guys next time.